and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple wave design. You can use it on any color that you want. Let me just pick a bluish one for this example, like so. And use the paint bucket tool and left click on my canvas. So this is my background, I create a new layer. It's important that it's transparent and I call it a line. Let me make the background invisible. I drag a guide and I use the paths tool and now I can reposition the start and end nodes and they should snap to the guide. So we know it's a straight line. I right click on it, select from path. Then I go to edit stroke path. It selects the solid color that I've got in the foreground, so the bluish color. I make it 15 pixels. You may adjust that depending on your canvas size. Go to image, guides, and remove guides. So now this guide is gone and we only have our line. Still on this layer, I'll go to filters, distorts, and use waves. Check the preview. And for the wave, I want to go down with the center Y. Keep the center X. Adjust the period and make it a bit bigger. The phase shift is for moving it up and down. And the aspect ratio gives you more of these wave lines or less. And the amplitude makes these waves bigger or smaller. So for the amplitude, I don't want to go too high. Maybe like 15 to 20, something like this. This should be good. For example, I confirm it. Now go to filters, light and shadow and use the drop shadow. Just keep the defaults and confirm. So it already looks like what we want. But the wave effect isn't perfect, so you may have to scale your line a little bit up so that it exceeds your canvas. Now we want to copy this line. Let's say four times, so we've got five in total. I use the alignment tool, select it all, and then I use this function right here for distribute. And I've got relative to image selected. So this may happen that you only see four lines, but just trust me, there's a fifth line. I can drag it inside, you can see right here. Let me press Ctrl Z. And here you've got the fifth line. So the way to handle this is to simply merge all of your lines right here. So that you have them all on one layer. And afterwards you can use the move tool on this entire line layer that has all five lines. Put it in center and then reshow the background color. And now you've got this simple wave design. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.